Hi, I'm Dan of AppStoreSchool.com, and I'm here to provide a brief intro and overview of a free PDF download called Roadmap to the Apple App Store. So just briefly, we're going to talk about the, the, the big overview of the seven milestones. We're going to take a quick look at each of the milestones. I'm going to show you uh, where to go to get the PDF, and I'm going to talk briefly about a challenge I have coming up in August 2021 where you can win an Apple Watch with your app. So a big picture here, I broke the process of getting from start to finish into these seven milestones, starting with your bright idea where you've got an idea for an app that you want to get into the app store, all the way through uh, testing and creating and preparing for submission, all the way to publishing in the app store, going from idea to graduating to become an actual app developer, someone who has a real app in the Apple App Store. So first of all, their milestone one is just some general setup information. And uh, the first thing you need is a Mac. Uh, way back when, when I f did my first app in the uh, App Store, I did not have a Mac. And I spent a lot of time on my PC trying to find the download for the software that I need to build an app for the App Store on my PC. Um, I spent a lot of time and I could not find one. And it's because one doesn't exist. Uh, and it's because you need a Mac to develop for the Apple App Store. So any Mac will do. Uh, you can go to apple.com and uh, get one there. Uh, after you buy a Mac, you want to join the Apple Developer Program. Uh, the Developer Program is $99 a year, and it, it, it gives you access to all the tools and resources you need to develop your app and then submit your app to the App Store. And so uh, after you join the Developer Program, you can then uh, download for free uh, the software called Xcode. Xcode is software for the Mac that you use to create your apps uh, on the App Store. And then one of the first things you'll do in Xcode is you'll create your developer certificates. You'll need that for submitting it to the App Store. Uh, these steps you only have to do one time, so once you go through them, you're good to go for all of the apps that you create from there. And this takes us to milestone two. This is where you actually create your, your app, whether it's something small or your, your grand masterpiece. You want to build that in Xcode. And if you are not a coder or you're not a developer, it is not a problem because you can create an app for the App Store. I'm not talking about hiring a developer. You, a person who is a, not a coder, not a developer, can become an app developer. I have a course that shows you how. It's called Your First App in the Apple App Store in Under 30 Days. No coding required. And like the name says, we're, we're going to walk through these seven milestones where you actually create a working app, a product for the Apple App Store, and you get that into the App Store. And we're not going to write a single line of code. Um, if you are a developer, you can have at it here. This is where you, where you go about it. Maybe you're, a, maybe you're on a team. You know, in, in this case here, our simple app is only going to take us a couple hours. Uh, there are cases where an app development team will spend many, many months, if not many years, developing uh, and creating it, but that, that all happens in this milestone two process. Uh, milestone three is once the app is, is built, you want to test your app, and there are three steps to that. First is to test it in Xcode. This is the software that you use to build the app. Uh, they have a built-in simulator, which is really cool because you can select which device you want to test on from you know a very old iPhone to the latest and greatest iPad. Uh, the interface pops up and you can essentially click around on a, the screen that looks just like the device that you selected. And once you're with your, with your app and, and, and you're happy with how it's working in the simulator, you move on to your to a real device. You know, you'll select, you'll connect your iPhone or your iPad to your computer and you'll actually run your app on one or preferably both of those devices to see how it looks and feels on a real device. And then once you're happy with that, you can develop the test flight program uh, that all comes free as part of the developer program. It is like submitting to the App Store, except that you, you submit it and only people that you choose can have access to your app. And this lets you know family and friends or colleagues download your app, try it out, provide you feedback. You can fine tune even further. And at that point, you know, you can be satisfied that you're ready for a wider audience. And that takes us to milestone four. At this, at this milestone, your app is done, it's, it's been tested, and now you're going to prepare for submission to the App Store. And that submission process requires a, a, a review uh, from Apple. And so part of that submission process is uh, creating screenshots. You'll know that when you go to the App Store and you see an app, you see screenshot previews. You're going to create some of those um, 
uh, in Xcode, for example, directly in the simulator, you can create the screenshot. Uh, there are other things you can do. You can you can use Photoshop or other tools. Uh, you can even record a short promotional video to uh, upload to the App Store. And then uh, if, if you didn't do it already in, in step three for the, the test flight, uh, you're going to use Xcode to create what's called an archive of your app, and then you're going to submit that to App Store Connect. And App Store Connect is a website uh, from Apple where you go, you go to submit your app. But before you do that, before you go to App Store Connect to, to actually submit it, you need to create a product website. And this is Milestone 5. And specifically, there are, there are three pages that Apple wants to see on a website associated with your product. They want to see a privacy policy page. They want to see a marketing page. It can be a single page or it can be elaborate. It can be many pages, but you've got to have a marketing page. And, and the third thing you need on your website is a support page for your product so that users have a way to contact you uh, if they have any questions or, or problems with the app. So once you have a product website, you can now take the final step in submitting it to Apple, and that is done through App Store Connect. So that process is going to take you through the process of, of uploading your screenshots, you know, selecting the build that you created from Xcode. Uh, it's going to prompt you for the URLs for those three web pages from your product website that we just talked about. This is where you select your app category. This is where you, you specify any age restrictions associated with your app. This is where you set the price of your app. And once you do all that, um, you know, there are four sections and it walks you through. Um, it's just a simple form that you fill out. Uh, you hit submit. And then uh, you'll immediately get an email back from Apple saying uh, the status of your app has changed. It is now pending review. And at that point, you're going to wait anywhere from a day or a week while someone at Apple actually goes through your app and has a look at it and decides yay or nay to it. They might say, oh, no, we're not going to accept this. And if that's the case, they'll give you a reason. It might be it might be a very specific reason or it might be a generic reason. And they'll send it back to you for changes, possibly. Uh, but once you go through those iterations and you'll get an email from Apple saying, congratulations, your app has been accepted. At that stage there, your app then uh, is a legitimate app and ready for sale in the App Store. And that takes you to Milestone 7, where you are now an app developer. If you have, if you weren't one before, Milestone 7 is you are an app developer. And again, the beauty of the App Store and Xcode is that even if you're not a coder, even if you've never developed an app before, it is possible to submit an app to the Apple App Store, something that you create without writing any code. And I have a course at appstoreschool.com that does just that. When you take that course, or if you know how to do it already and you get to Milestone 7, either way, however you get here, this is when you want to celebrate, share your success with your family and your friends and your colleagues. You want to promote it on social media. And then you want to go back to App Store Connect and monitor your downloads. This is where you get to, to, to see the ratings and reviews in App Store Connect. And based on that, you can make uh, changes to your app or you can be motivated to move on to your next great app uh, in the App Store. So uh, that's the summary. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you're watching this on appstoreschool.com, click the link next to the video to download the free PDF. If you're watching this on YouTube, head on over to appstoreschool.com and you'll see a link for downloading the PDF. And just want to let you know that in the month of August 2021, I'm running a competition whereby we take our the apps that we create in appstoreschool.com and we have a competition where the winners win some really nice prizes. Uh, Apple Watch Bands, Apple Watch, and including the grand prize of a brand new Apple Watch Series 6 from Apple. Once again, I'm Dan, appstoreschool.com. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the App Store.